Holiday vacations are coming up, so plenty of us are going to be hitting the road, hitting the airport, or just maybe enjoying a hotel staycation. But if you plan on surfing the web while you're away from home, are you aware of the big risk you could be taking with your personal information? Today's Your Money Matters focuses on the dangers of unknown Wi-Fi areas. Joining us now is Robert Siciliano, a security and identity theft expert with the company Hotspot Shield. Uh, Robert, good to have you back on the show. Thank you so much. Yeah. What are the risks of connecting to Wi-Fi in, in hotels and, and uh, other public places? Plenty. Uh, whenever you connect to a free, open public Wi-Fi, there's a good chance that there's somebody in the area that can sniff in on your wireless communications, meaning that they can see all of your unencrypted data as it floats through the air. And with that, you know, they can compromise a person's identity. They can access usernames and passwords, websites and such. It can wreak serious havoc, uh, havoc in regards to your personal identity. I get the feeling a person doesn't have to be a, a computer genius to figure out how to do that either, right? Well, the unfortunate thing is that the, there's all kinds of hardware and software out there for the taking, for anybody, really, that they, they, they can use to learn how to access this information as it's conducted over free open Wi-Fi. You know, there are different kinds of Wi-Fi. Some you, you have to have a password and, uh, or maybe even pay for it, and others are just out and out free. Is there a difference, or, or is one level safer than another? Well, if there is, um, it's like for example, your home Wi-Fi that's encrypted, you know, you require a yeah. network key or a password to get in, that's generally protected with WPA uh, security, you know, it's, 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 it's Wi-Fi security, it's an encryption built into the router as long as you set it up properly. And then once you go out to like the airport and the hotel, that's usually open, like anybody can connect to that. It's free usually and it's unencrypted. Your 3G, LTE, 4G uh, mobile phone connection is generally a much more secure than open and free Wi-Fi. Yeah, and I have an idea that you would suggest, because uh, this is something I do, is set up uh, a hotspot using the phone. So a hotspot using the phone, you're conducting over the uh, carrier's uh, 3G or 4G or LTE connection. That is more secure than open free Wi-Fi, but it's not 100% secure. So in that regard, you still have to be, you know, consider that whenever you're on Wi-Fi in general, uh, to be alert. So sometimes it's unavoidable using uh, Wi-Fi in, in public places. What kind of information should we uh, access and not access? So whenever you're on open free Wi-Fi, um, really you shouldn't be accessing any critical sites at all. Uh, you shouldn't be communicating any critical information at all over open free Wi-Fi unless, unless you have protection software in place. Otherwise, uh, accessing encrypted websites you know, where there's an HTTPS in the address bar is generally a good thing, uh, and that usually masks your data. So. In short, online banking is a bad idea using public Wi-Fi. That's something you never want to do, right? Yeah, online banking is, you know, the, the worst of the worst. Any, um, uh, any retail transactions, you know, any shopping online on open or free Wi-Fi, that's where you get yourself in the most amount of trouble. So what's the best way to protect yourselves? So the best way to protect yourself is to, you know, either not use open free Wi-Fi, like wait till you get to the office, wait till you get home using an encrypted Wi-Fi with WPA uh, encryption, or, you know, I work for Hotspot Shield, and there are many uh, VPNs or virtual private networks out there. Uh, Hotspot Shield is, is the one that I work with. That basically, it's a software you download and install on your device. Could be a mobile phone, could be a laptop computer, could even be a desktop. And what that does is when you launch it, it encrypts all of your data on free open Wi-Fi, basically masks your IP address and all of your information, encrypts all of your data, preventing anyone, you know, criminal hackers, from seeing what right. you're doing. And you so want to see the, you're right, on, go, go ahead. Unless you're on an actual, um, you know, encrypted Wi-Fi, you need a VPN in order to mask your data. All right. Always excellent advice. Robert Siciliano, great to have you back with us. For more information, visit hotspotshield.com or robertsiciliano.com. We'll be right back.